We now move to stage four of workflow, which is machining. Workflow offers several methods of machining and I'm gonna show you two out of the three methods. Full automatic machining is achieved through the planning board and semi-automatic is achieved through the machine feature command. So I'm gonna click planning board and workflow will now populate the planning board with the machining method stated by workflow. As you run your mouse over each machining command, the target feature will highlight. You can overrule the planning board by selecting a command and deleting it. Or you can use drag and drop and you can reorder how the machining method is deployed. Once you are satisfied, you then select apply. And as the name suggests, the machining strategies are now applied to each feature according to the order specified within the planning board. You'll notice the machining sequence window will now begin to fill with CAM instructions. Ordinarily, these CAM instructions are manually created. Thus, imagine how much time workflow is now saving. Note the tick symbol. This denotes that that particular command is now completed. We've now created 60 odd CAM instructions and it's time to test the integrity of the toolpaths. So we'll use machine simulator. The main commands are found on the top left hand side. The toggle bar controls the speed. As we now press play, the toolpaths begin to deploy with the machine tool model now accurately simulating each and every movement. Within the stop options area, request to stop at a collision. Observe the sequence window on the left hand side. You can see exactly which CAM instruction is at work. You may stop the simulation, click a CAM instruction further down the sequence and the toolpath will fast forward to that position. The view manipulation commands are exactly the same as in EdgeCAM. You press the right hand mouse button and move the mouse for rotation and zoom by rolling the mouse wheel forwards or backwards. Our work here is nearly done, so let's press exit and return to workflow. You can edit a toolpath by double clicking that instruction. Here we see the ability to alter the rough turn cycle. Note yet again the use of pictures on dialogues and context sensors if help. I'll now show you semi-automatic machining achieved through machine feature command. First of all, I'll delete the current set of CAM instructions. I will select machine feature and observe the dialog. In this case, we will rough only a specific feature. Note the command prompt and I'll now will pick the face feature. I'm going to do that one more time. This time I'm going to set machine feature to both, which means rough and finish. And this time I'm going to pick the turn feature. And again, obviously the toolpaths will deploy. This concludes this tutorial.